Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of One of Let's Plays Blind Edition. In this episode I'm going to be playing a game that was requested by one of my friends, Solomon's Key for the NES. I've never played it before so let's just jump right into it right before the game spoils it. It was made in 1987. Oh cool. So pretty much virtually around the same time as Golden Axe for the Sega Mega Drive. That's cool. Ooh, this is a different layout on I get the feeling this is a puzzle game by the looks of it, because there is a door, there is a key, there is a boss that I just killed, and there is a really cool NES soundtrack. I don't mind some of the NES soundtracks now. While, yes, some of them may be a bit dated, some of them can sound really cool, like Mega Man music, you know? Or Mario music, Metroid music, Zelda music, etc. I don't know, sometimes I just like a bit of 8-bit music going on. Plus it can suit things like when you put it into a video and all that. Oh, I get it, so it's mainly just use these blocks then and then cause them to vanish and then use a key to get inside. But how do I how do I get rid of this block here? Um If I take too long on things like this, I'll just speed it up or cut it out because um I don't really just wanna sit here seeing me fail trying to get through this. Um Oh, there we go, okay, so you just duck down and then get, use the wand to get through it. Thank you, Dada, you released this room. Try next room. <laughs> this is back then when NES had some weird grammar in its writing. Looks like it goes like black, so it shows you like what the uh, level is like. And there are enemies right here. Oh god, great, I think I'm going to die in a bit. <laughs> That's a weird noise when you die. But I love it. That sounds cool. <laughs> now, um, let's see now. Can I actually attack these things? Oh, cool, I can. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Oh, oh well. <laughs> I'm probably not going to get too far in this, but I'm just going to play until I get bored of it, I guess, really. This is the thing when it comes to playing NES games. Let's see now. I want to hit you with my magic and jump over you. There we go, yeah, like that. And now I'm going to die in a bit, I bet. Oh, yep, there you go. <laughs> Game over. Great. Okay, back in room two again. Let's not fail this time, shall we? I don't know how much life I have on all, but uh, eh, we'll find out in a mo. Okay, I'm going to hit you with my fire and then jump over you, so that way I can use fire again. Is that right? Oh, cool, I have like a little spell that tells me how much fire I have anyway. Okay, so I can just keep doing this. It's that they keep respawning, and that's annoying. So I die, that's what I'm going to do, great. <laughs> I'm not very good at 8-bit NES games, so I apologise if I keep dying, but oh well. I'm sure it's entertaining for you. <laughs> Alright, so um, actually I'm going to take a different route. Instead of hitting them, I'm going to go up instead. And use the key to get in there, nice! So now then, uh, I'm just going to act really, really quick on this bit, and then make it to the end without getting hit! There we go, nice! Cool! There's many just love for your mistakes through playing these kind of games. I don't mind that kind of game, really. Because, um, honestly, this seems like a sort of game that I could just easily pick up and play, like, if I'm bored and I've got a couple of minutes to spare. Because, you know, you can just quickly uh, continue from where you last left off. That seems alright. I quite like that. <laughs> Plus, I heard this is a good NES game anyway, and it sure seems it. Seems pretty unique. Well, okay, maybe not unique and all. I mean, this does seem very basic now, but back then it must have been pretty cool. Those things there remind me of Bubbles from Zelda. I don't know about you. In fact, the main person reminds me of Zelda. Look at him, he looks like Zelda but with a cape. <laughs> okay, how was I supposed to dodge that? I suppose I could have added um, a bit of floor into it in order for it to avoid it, but never mind. Are there any S games that I actually like just playing in my spare time? Uh, more of games like Balloon Fight, as um, one of my friends likes Balloon Fight as well, and I can see why. Because <laughs> Bone Flight is quite a cool game, actually. Because it's got like two methods in that one where you like kill things, and another one where it's balloon trip. But if you want to know more about that, I'd suggest looking at the video me and my mate LT Kenyon made of the first one of Let's Plays ever, which was updated very rarely. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put this in the way so that then. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, cool, and there's no falling damage either. That makes sense as well. I'm just going to jump out of the way though to make sure I don't get hit by that thing, and oh my god, really. Great. So that is too short, is it? Well, okay. Um, 
I thought I screwed up there. Yep, I'm gonna go game over again, really? Aww. Actually, this is uh, quite a risk, but let's do it. See if it works. Because if you can do this, and that's cool, I swear. Oh my god, you can! <laughs> so cool, you can just fall down the edge, so then you don't have to bother. Okay, cool, so there's a bit of sequence breaking in the game as well. Well, maybe that's not quite sequence breaking, but I don't know. Speaking of sequence breaking, did I ever mention how much I love to sequence break Super Metroid? I'm pretty sure I have. <laughs> as honestly, that game has a lot of sequence breaking, since there are many ways where you can just exploit the game and that, so you can just find hidden areas and stuff, and I just love it a lot. Super Metroid is probably one of my favorite games of all time. I kid you not. <laughs> I just love the game that much. Um, okay, so, let's see, how am I going to get past this one? Um, not by doing that, of course. Great. <laughs> <coughs> oh god. Oh no! <laughs> oh great. I died on that bit. Brilliant. So you need to do careful observation. Oh no! <laughs> I panicked. <laughs> Game over again. Okay, here we are, back in the same room again. I swear, this is like I'm playing Super Meat Boy here. Dude, how many times I'm dying. <laughs> but, uh, never mind. It doesn't really seem that bad, though, in a way, because you can get up to where you last left off really quickly. Plus, it's an NES game, so, I mean, <laughs> don't expect passwords. And if there are going to be passwords, they're going to be long as hell. <laughs> like, you know, Metroid. Remember Metroid's passwords? They were long. I didn't bother to write them down. I never did. Especially with the Mega Man games, too. Now, uh, let's see, so that unlocks that, but now, wait, how do I, <laughs> great, <laughs> what the, quick, go, 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 oh, well, I've somehow locked them here, that's cool, <laughs> that makes it a whole lot easier for me then, doesn't it, cool, I don't know how the heck I managed that, but never mind, I'm just going to roll with it, I think I just basically broke the game, I don't care that I'm, Plus, I just noticed that when you click the key, it saves it like that, so you don't really have to bother with it or anything. I don't think I'm meant to do that, really, but never mind. Um, just to be cautious, yeah, and then move. There we go. Okay, that makes sense. So then now I can just easily clear my way through here. Can I just burn this guy? I can. <laughs> and he turns into that. Nice. So, uh, this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it just falls down, never mind. Okay. I'm starting to get a hand of this game now. And there comes the thing again. Go away. Well, that didn't work. Except that did, so that was very close there. <laughs> Jeez. This game's already quite intense. Oh, cool, you can hit them like that. Okay, then. that makes sense. Cool. Now I can just easily make it through this level. Hopefully. Hello? What's this? What does that do? Oh, no! <laughs> For God's sake, man, really? Uh, <laughs> I got a game over again. <laughs> Luke, you Okay, so I just noticed something. I just noticed that my life goes down. That is annoying as hell. And so is this thing that keeps killing me. Why am I even hitting that block that doesn't do anything? <laughs> I'm such an idiot. There we go. There we go. Observation makes it a lot easier. Get the key! Go down quick before the ghost gets me. There we go. And now... Um, clear this way, just be certain. And... Go! 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 Alright, okay. Awesome. Now, just to be cautious, I'm going to block that path, so that way he cannot get me. Okay, cool, now we're getting somewhere. Nice. I apologise if, if this is all that I'm saying, but I don't care. I mean, I'm having fun doing this, so, uh, hmm. Oh, cool, I can just do it at an angle, there we go. That makes sense. So now, let's see, yep, hit that. Okay, cool. It's all about observation with this, then, isn't it? But, uh, how do I make it past... Ooh, hello, what does that do? gonna hit you. 
like that, okay. And hopefully hit you. Nice. Okay, we're done with but bloody out of it, Jesus Christ. Cool. Now what's the next room like? If it's too hard, I'm gonna end it here. No, nope, bugger that, I'm out of here. <laughs> if you have, thank you for watching this episode of um this blind edition of what's the name? <laughs> Solomon's Key. You can find this on Wii U eShop, WiiWare, or the original NES, and... <laughs> At least give me a chance to talk, game, for God's sake. <laughs> yeah, you can find it on those platforms. If you want to find out what else it's on, just look it up and things. Thank you for watching this episode. It's a really fun game. I'm going to play this more in my spare time. And see you in the next episode of One of Let's Plays Blind Edition, where I'm going to be playing a game. I don't know which one yet, but we'll see. Good game. Pick it up. Just hard as hell.